The rant of the day. Um, obviamente este domingo que pasó es, eh, fue el día de los padres. Eh, un día que no es eh, muy... Eh, eh, <ríe> no es un día que es tan activo o comparado con Mother's Day, right? Eh, pero creo que um, lo importante del fatherhood es que es una parte esencial en la vida de los niños, right? So, traigo este tema um, porque yo sé que hay mucha presión en, en ser un padre, right? Pero lo más importante de ser un buen padre es que una madre te dé la oportunidad de serlo, right? Um, si, una, si una madre no te da la oportunidad de ser padre, tú puedes ser el mejor padre del mundo y no lo vas a poder ser porque la madre no te está dando la oportunidad. So, I really think that motherhood um, is uh, the first... Uh, step uh, in being able to be a great father. So, you know, y, y creo que a veces en relaciones eh, las personas se confunden y no entienden eh, la diferencia entre ser un buen marido y ser un buen padre, que son dos cosas totalmente diferentes. Right? It, there, there's a huge difference between being a father and being a husband, right? And these are two separate responsibilities. These are two different acts, and then there's two different um, impacts that these get that this gives you um, to your kid, right? So you know, going back to fatherhood, you know, it also makes a difference between um, you know being present and just being there. Um, y yo creo que eso es algo que muchos de los padres um, a veces no entienden porque tú puedes estar presente en el, en el momento pero eh, no estás um, ahí actualmente right so the, the you know you know just switch it up in English right the, the difference between being there and actually being present I think you know there's there's two different things there and and, and two different impacts that it has on kids right um, And I think you know this. That's that's the that's the difference between being a baby daddy and being a father. Um, and once again, you know, I'm you know, soy un dominicano que tuvo la dicha eh, de ser eh, criado eh, por um, otro hombre que no fue mi papá. Pero este hombre, Nicolás Orrilla, eh, fue el que me dio los valores de trabajar duro y de tener esa dedicación a la familia, pero lo que sí me doy de cuenta es que muchos de los padres latinos eh, no son muy eh, vocal cuando se viene a decir I love you, right? Y creo que you know they're, just, they're not just they're not affectionate. I feel like they're they're built on this um I'm not, I don't want to say machismo, right? Because I think machismo might not be the right word, but I feel like this uh, this persona that you know that there's weakness associated with with feelings. So you know, and I was having this conversation with my friends about you know you know why do um, why do why do Latin dads struggle so much to say I love you? Um, so obviously. Um, I have to make sure that a few of these people send me voice notes. Um, and let's hear what Eladio has to say. Negro, good morning. Uh, their parents, meaning your grandparents, didn't tell them uh, that I love you. Got and point. Uh, that's something that, we you know, we and you touched on the book that we wrote. Because not once uh, did you say in your story how your father or stepfather ever talked to you about how their, your grandparents... Uh, told them to say i love you correct uh our latino culture promotes does not promote fatherly love for uh, sure you know I, i ask you right now negro what movies uh what you know books uh and that are made in spanish are made for father and sons for father and daughters for them to say i love you together i don't know how about from univision or telemundo <laughs> i mean those are the m biggest major exporters of, of media at least in the east coast And I don't, I do not hear anything or any shows for that matter. Um, and lastly, and most controversial, uh, but the most logical one is that parents aren't putting the time in, the energy, the emotions, the just the the progress to to learn how to say I love you. Okay, so um, 
you know, I think a lot of it brings up a lot of good points, right? And like I said before, you know, I think uh, my relationship with my stepdaughter, my stepdaughter, <laughs> my, my stepdad, um, uh, allowed me to have a, a father figure, you know, in a, in a period when I was growing up, correct? Um, do I think that a result of them not being able to say I love you is because their parents didn't say it to them as much? I agree, totally, 100%. Um, but not putting in the time, I, I wouldn't be able to agree with that. Well, what I could say is that um, I believe that parents, um, especially Latin parents, um, took to heart the actions speak louder than words, right? They took to heart the fact that I need to provide for the family. I need to protect the family. I need to uh, make sure that everything is there for the betterment of my family, which is que se le agradece desde el fondo del corazón, obviamente. Pero creo que también el, el verbalizarlo eh, le da eh, algo muy importante, especialmente a los varones, porque los varones uh, in this goes for men as well um there's a struggle with showing emotion and expressing your emotions right and i think that's where it starts when a father um doesn't verbalize feelings to you you kind of you know subconsciously obviously um you take that upon yourself to do it as well in y si no hace difícil a veces expresar nuestro sentimiento porque nos trajeron de esa manera um pero tengo otro voice no aquí um de uno de los hermanos de lambda theta phi lambda fraternity incorporated at Keen University. Eh, Lucas, dímelo tú. El padre latino no te dice te quiero o te amo porque así no es como fue criado. El padre latino fue criado a trabajar, fue criado a mantener la familia, a moverse para adelante y luchar. Y así es como el padre latino te dice que él te quiere. Capaz que te, no te lo dice todos los días, pero él te lo enseña y te lo muestra con las cosas que haces. Y muy, muy buen punto, muy buen punto. Y como, como dije, right, yo creo que eh, the, the fact of, you know, actions speak louder than words, right? Um, but does that make a difference in not hearing it? Do we, do we need to hear it as much as we need to see it happen? Diablo, que maldita pregunta, Dios mío, right? Um, so that was it for a rant of the day, um, you know, Father's Day passed by, so I thought I might as well take the time and speak about this with you guys. And ahora nos vamos para el segmento que le hice un poquito de un edit al, al intro de, de Yo Tengo Un Amigo. Si yo quiero que ustedes lo oigan y me dejen saber qué ustedes piensan del nuevo intro, del segmento más escuchado del mundo, mi gente.